Monster Munch. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Monster Munch. Say hello, Monster Munch. Hello. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the first episode, this is basically a section of the show where my daughter, who is seven and wants to be called Monster Munch, plays some old games and sees what she thinks of them. Now, you don't have any idea what you're going to play today, do you? Not at all. Well, seeing as it's October, what happens in October? It's Halloween. Yes, so we're going to play some spooky games. What do you think about that? That'll be fun. Okay, so the first one that you're going to play is a game called Cauldron, which is one of my favourite games when I was a kid. What do you think that could be about? Um, Cauldron could be like, there's loads of spooky stuff and you have to try and fight them. That's true. Do you know what, uh, do you know what a cauldron is? No. Witches mix their spells in a cauldron. Huh? So they get ingredients and they put them in a cauldron and that's how they make spells. Oh. It's like a big cooking pot. Okay, I get it now. Okay, so we'll get this set up and we'll play game one. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. I'm a witchy witch witch. Okay, I'm going out my house. She goes very slow. How do you shoot them? What do you think just happened there? Um, I got killed. Yeah, you flew into the trees by accident. You're also being hit by bats at the minute, so I'd get a move on. How do you kill them? Oh, that's the other screen. You might want to keep going though. You need to go and find a key. So you can make the spell? No, you need to find a key to get into a dungeon to find the ingredients to make a spell. Oh. There's a key right there, so you need to land on that grass. Oh yeah, it's under a tree. And... Yeah, you're flying into the trees. You need to fly and land on the grass. Now you need to try and find a dungeon that has a green door. A green door. Why is there so many trees? That's just it. Oh, look, there's a. Yeah. yeah, but you went the wrong way. Right. You need to land on the grass. Remember that? Okay. Grass. Slowly walk, slowly walk. So, did you find that difficult or easy? Um, it was probably in the middle. Right, just wait until you open this door then. Okay. Yeah, you have to walk toward the door. Don't try and fly. Go and land on the grass again. No, no! <laughs> land on the grass. You've only got one life left now. Go and land on the grass. So keep going. No, you've just killed yourself again. <laughs> well, you didn't win on that one. Right, second time. Let's see if we can do it this time without killing ourselves. So what's the first thing you need to do? Go to get the key. Yep, so why are you walking back to your door? You're going to kill yourself. There we go. You've just killed yourself. <laughs> go, go, go. Where am I at? You're oh. in the sky getting hit by bats. <laughs> oh, there's a blue key. Right, land on the grass. Land on the grass. Now walk and don't press it up, okay? The key protecting me, though. Yeah, there's literally nothing you can do about that. Okay, back to the grass. There we go. Oh, well, they got you anyway. Come on. Would you say that it's fair that you can't do anything while they, uh, while you're walking across the floor? No, it's not fair. Okay, go, go, go. Stop attacking me! Where, where do you go with the purple key? To the purple door. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. What's this gate for? That that is a graveyard. So just keep going. How long's the graveyard gonna go for? Oh, here we go. Right, land land on the pad. No, go left, left, left. Down, down. Keep walking toward the door. Keep going. Walk, walk, walk. Stop getting me. Okay. Now you've got two lives to try and get an ingredient. 
I will be surprised if you make it off this screen. Can I get one pound again? Uh, I could give you a thousand pound if you get it off this screen, because I'd be very surprised if you do. You've not got that much. That's true. One life left. Oh no. No! What did you think of Cauldron? Bad, 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 bad. Okay, so Cauldron's got a thumbs down. So the next game is going to be The Adams Family. What do you think of The Adams Family? The Adams Family is good! So you watched the black and white version the other day, what did you think of that? Uh, I liked the... It was good and I liked the one that uh, got stretched out. The one that got stretched out? Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Well, this game, I think, might be platforming game, a bit like Mario, so you can jump on people's heads, however, from what I remember, he controls a bit weird, so, uh, the music's playing right now, what do you think? Okay, that's enough of that. This is going to be on the easiest setting, but there you go. Oops. I'm jumping on his head. Oh, come on. Yes, I jumped on him. Why is it going like that? No! Wah, wah, wah. And that's all of your lives gone. That was the easiest mode of the game. How hard was that? That's the worst game ever, and it was hard. Was it better or worse than Cauldron? Worse. I'm not sure about that. Well, I think it was. Okay, we'll move on to the next game then. Okay, so the next game, what's that called? The Rocky Horror. Sure. Correct. Do you know what the Rocky Horror Show is all about? No, because I've not played it. Well, the Rocky Horror Show is a musical. I love the shows that sing. You love the shows that sing? Musicals. Right, let's get this started. Do you recognize this song? No. That song is called The Time Warp. The what? Time Warp. Time Warp. Time Warp. Time Warp. Time Warp. Time Warp. Okay, so before the game begins, you get to choose. Do you want to be Brad or do you want to be Janet? Brad. Okay. Right. What you're going to need to do in this is you have to pick up some flashing pieces, take them to a room and put the flashing pieces onto a big screen, and you're also gonna pick up keys that will help you open doors. But you're also gonna have to avoid everyone, okay? So it's like an adventure and you try to kill people. No, you can't kill anyone. I don't know where you got the killing thing from. <laughs> I didn't mention anything about killing anyone. <laughs> okay, off you go. How do you get it? Press the one button. See, so you, you can pick the keys up in the same way if you stand on them. You can only carry one key at a time, though. Oh, watch out. Move, lady. Okay, so you put that piece on the machine, the big flashing screen there. How do you put it on? Just walk into it, and I would avoid that guy because he's going to get you. Okay, that's your first bit. Now you're going to have to run. Two pieces. I'll go for this one. Oh, why do you have to... Why do you have to do that? 
What? Ah, that walking lady. Why does he keep, why does everyone keep following me? They all want to stop you. Come on. What's happened to your man? What? What's happened to your man? He's naked. Why is he naked? Because he's holding himself. Did you press the button that made him naked? I think so. What did you do that for? I didn't know. I hope he didn't take my clothes and make me naked. I think it was the woman, actually. Give me back my clothes! Oh no, you got zapped. Wah, wah, wah. You died with no clothes on. So, you've played three games today, and they've all been Halloween themed. You played Cauldron, you played Adam's Family, and you played Rocky Horror Show. Which one was your favourite? I think it was the Rocky Horror Show. And why is that? Because I was naked. You like the Rocky Horror Show best because you were naked? Yes. Excellent reasoning. That's also why I liked the game as well when I was a kid. Why? Because he was naked. Oh. Okay, that's it all for today's episode. So goodbye from me and... Bye. <laughs> goodbye from that one. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>